you. The next agenda item is um, agenda item REZ 2013-5, uh, and this final action will be taken by the Lowndes County uh, case. Lowndes County Court <coughs> Commissioners on Tuesday, May 14th. Staff, please present the case. Yes, sir, thank you. Um, particular request in this case is to go from an R10 zoning to an R1 zoning. We believe the main motivation is so that the applicants can actually have an additional residence on the property, meaning a dwelling and an accessory dwelling. Accessory dwellings are not currently allowed in R10 zoning, and they wish to an additional home on the property. Uh, the updates that I can tell you since the work session, as far as your report, we did uh, want to hand out a letter of intent from the applicant. It's short, but it's something that'll help complete your packet. Look at those. I don't, I don't anticipate the letter of intent changing and they would want you to have it to help complete that. The other update that we do have, we, after performing a site visit at the end of last week, and actually multiple site visits since that time, one of the things that you'll notice on your survey, um, which is hard to see here, but right at the back of this U-shaped drive on the subject property is a shed. Um, after doing a site visit, there is a shed there, but there's also an additional structure that's not depicted on the survey that we believe is um, like an old park model. It almost looks like a single wide manufactured home. So we looked at that. Um, communicated with the applicant about what it is. We actually went inside the unit to inspect it. Um, honestly, is a really it could serve as a small residence. The applicants are using it for storage, and now they believe that someone could possibly live there. It's nice enough to live there. So what we've done as staff is we've communicated with the applicant to try to find out the permitting history of the of the particular building. It's not pictured on the survey, or it's pictured as a shed, but it's not a shed. Um, we heard from inspections at the end of this afternoon they could not find any permits. They checked all the way back to 93. The applicants are going to get us some permit information on it. But for the current time being, the only solution we're able to offer the applicants is if they want to move an additional home on, they need to remove that home. Um, they understand that, and they're willing to do that because the home they're going to get is, a, I believe, a much nicer home than the one that could even serve as a dwelling now. It's really like a one bedroom with a shared um, kitchen dinette type area, very small. So we did confirm that at the end of last week. I spoke to the applicants this afternoon. I think staff is still on course with trying to proceed with this because the applicants realize if we're going to grant a permit for another home on the property, they have to remove the one that's there because the number of dwellings that are allowed are two and putting a home on there will be three. So they understand that, they're willing to work with that, and I believe they are even willing to remove the home. So that's the only other update I'd give you since the work session. We've been working on that issue since about Thursday of last week. So um, we believe we've worked it to a point to where it's ready for y'all to proceed. The applicants are aware about the removal situation. Um, and I think that's the only update I would offer. It's a major update, but we believe it's still ready to move forward if you so chose. All right, thank you. Are there any questions for the staff on the commission? Mr. Chair. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Davenport, the issue with the removal of the home, mm -hmm. that would be handled directly through permitting, correct? Yes, ma'am. We essentially, if they approached us, should the commission so choose to approve it and ask for a permit, we would not be able to issue that permit because there would already be two structures we considered well on the property. So, yes, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. She has my question. Are there any other questions uh, for the staff? If not, is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in favor of this request? Is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in opposition to this request? There being none, I will now close the public participation portion of this request. Discussion is now open among the commissioners. There being no discussion, I will entertain a motion from the commission. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion that we 
recommend approval from R10 to R1. We have a motion by Mr. Nichols. Second. A second by Ms. Fowl. Is there any discussion on this motion? There being no discussion, all in favor, please indicate by raising your right hand. All opposed have the same right. The motion passes unanimously. 